stuff called fluid film. This is really popular up north uh, where they have a lot of actual salt trucks and they get a lot of snow. This is almost uh, a yearly thing that just about everybody up north with a vehicle uses on their chassis and inside the chassis. Anywhere salt and corrosion can get, they spray this stuff. It's landland based and I think it was actually developed prior to uh, World War II. And uh, what it does, it's, as it says, it's a rust corrosion and protectant and it stays wet whenever you spray it and it's real thick and what i'm going to do is uh spray it inside the frame rail here the chassis all the places where bolts might get through right up here in the front that could have some rust and corrosion i'm going to stop that so that's what i'm using here later when i have the the extra money i'm going to buy this by the gallon jug or five gallon bucket and they have a spray gun with a big long hose about four foot long you can run it way far up inside chassis stuff and spray it and i want to coat the inside of my frame rails really good uh just like i said to stop any kind of rust and stuff this stuff is excellent The last thing I want to try and show you guys is the PB Blaster Lithium Grease, the penetrating lithium grease. Now, at a later time, there's an intermediate shaft inside the engine compartment. Now, what that does, it, it connects the steering wheel or the steering column to the gearbox. It has little U-joints in it, and those are pretty rusted up and in pretty bad shape. And I'm going to end up replacing that intermediate shaft. But what I want to do uh, prior to that is these bolts secure the gearbox, which is this. And I'm going to want to take that gearbox out, inspect it, you know, grind it down, get it smooth, and put a good protective coating of paint on it and uh, put it back and maybe switch out these bolts. Now, this PB Blaster Lithium Grease, as you can see, it's sticky and it hangs out okay and uh, it just sits there and it penetrates and it's going to be a while until i get around to doing it and i just want to make sure while i'm waiting it gets plenty of lubrication before i start taking them big bolts out because the last thing i want to do is start breaking some more bolts so there is a leaky high pressure power string line and a return line I'm going to be replacing when I actually unbolt the power steering box. And I want to give that a good little squirt of grease. I don't know if I can do that that way. I'm not trying to break stuff. Ain't that messy. <laughs> Try to fix a little bit of this fender damage. I ain't gonna get crazy. I just wanna sand it down and put a little paint on it. It's better than it is. See that? As they say on Vice Grip Garage, that right there is factory. <laughs> Got a little spot right here too. Yep, just like factory. <sighs> so now it's basically a waiting game for the UPS man. I'm waiting for my cab lights and I was hoping they'd have been here by now. I would have liked to put them on because it's gonna rain tomorrow. And I would kind of like to quit the leaks in the cab of the truck. So, I guess we'll have to wait and see when he gets here. You know, I bought them on Amazon, so I wonder if the Amazon man had been here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. good thing I didn't come down here to look. I would have never thought somebody put that big of a package in a mailbox. Here are my cab lights. Cab marker. These are nice. Well, 
on you. I hope they hook up okay. If I remember from doing these on my one ton that I had, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But it is what it is. What's this? Oh, they send you a switch and new screws and all that fun stuff. Sweet. There's some more screws. And some more screws. What the hell's going on? They send you a lot of screws. So, and there's screws in here. How many times do you want me to screw these things in? There's only two screws per light. What's going on here? Oh, well, at least I'll have more screwing I can do. Goodness. Check these big dogs out. That's a lot of little LEDs in there. I bet these suckers are almost like headlights. They're a lot different than the other ones that I bought. I'm pretty anxious to see what these look like. I say I'm getting pretty excited about getting the headlights and stuff in. Um, <clears throat> it's probably going to be 7 to 20 days until I get my, the actual bulbs to go in here. Uh, but I want to show you guys kind of what, well, what it looked like with the new headlights in. Uh, if you remember the before picture of the headlights in the front end. Well, here is the after. As you can see, it makes a hell of a transformation. Now, they're not permanently mounted or nothing like that. I've just basically got them sitting in here. There's some alignment that I have to figure out as far as whenever they hit something. This one here is going to be just fine. This one over here has got a small dip in the front. Now, there's some clips inside the inside the fender here or one clip that the headlight pushes into and it snaps um i don't have it pushed into that all the way but you can see this i think this fender when this dent happened it pushed this up so i'm going to try to push that back out so when i push that back out i'm thinking the fender should go down just a smidge to where this headlight will look okay but yeah, just those two simple things that I did today completely transformed the front of the truck. Sweet. Now, I just got to get up there and get those cab lights put in. You know, it just doesn't make a lick of damn sense. I had a beautiful afternoon to do this. And I take a nap and it's dark. I didn't feel like doing it at all earlier and now for some strange reason it's pitch black it's a lot colder and i feel like doing it now i just i just don't get it see this is why i hate doing cab lights it sucks they break is it every time i do cab lights it's colder than a grave digger's asshole outside i just don't get it so there's the one led that works that's pretty weak Let's hook up one of these other ones real quick and see how much brighter it is. And it never fails. I don't have the right connectors. I'm like always short two. Story of my life. <laughs> so I'm trying to make do with what I got. And I brought everything but the kitchen sink to make sure I don't have any leaks. I got some gasket maker, some of that butyl tape. I mean, it. And some electrical tape. It's always a hot mess with me. My fingers are froze. Let's give her a shot. Let's see how it looks. Pow. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot brighter. Ugh. That's like having an extra headlight up top. Oh yeah. And suckers are bright. Today's episode of what kind of bullshit am I doing now? is I'm taking the power string bolts out. I want to drop the power string gearbox to make it easier to replace the high pressure power string line right there, which is probably the wrong one. And now I can't get my damn socket off this bolt. I mean, I've beaten, beaten, banged, and I've done everything I can think of. So I'm about ready to give the hell up. If I have to, I'll just buy three new bolts and new sockets. <laughs> I'm trying to 
get this one out and I know what's gonna happen I'm gonna put this onto that socket and I'm not gonna be able to get it out so yeah that's fun okay so welcome back to the shit show and I've been dicking around with this power steering stuff all day trying to get these hoses out like I said before it has been fighting me the whole time I'm trying to see which way these threads are going so I know which way to pull to disconnect the intermediate shaft everything on here as far as like the steering and yeah everything's just so rusty uh, let's see so if I pull it towards me I think that's tightening so I think I need to push away because I need to take that bolt out so I can disengage the steering shaft you know this right here so I can let the box out because I'm replacing the upper or the return line and the pressure line on the power string hose. It would just be so much easier if I get the box out. And I can clean it and inspect it and then paint it. And put the new hoses in and go from there. But uh, yeah, it's being a pain in the ass. Okay, we're back to the shit show. <laughs> okay, so I got the low pressure side of the power sharing or the return line i got it unplugged that was sucking so now i got the pressure switch right here disconnected from the high pressure line and what that pressure sensor does is whenever you're steering the truck and say if you crank it hard to the left and you put a strain on the power steering system that sensor tells the engine to increase rpm so you have more power steering pressure so yeah so all i gotta do now is disconnect uh this from the pump and that'd be fun because then all the fluid from the power string pump is probably gonna flow out but i got my bucket i've already got some transmission well i'm sorry it's, this is transmission fluid that's in the power string pump it's an atf plus four i believe the the plus four i believe is a full synthetic uh power string and some of y'all might be asking, like, why are you doing this? Well, for one, this pressure line here has got a hole in it, and it's leaking. And it's leaking all over the pitman arm and causing a mess. So that needs to be replaced. And since I'm here already, I might as well replace the return line, which is here, that goes to the, that cooler line. This goes up here to the power steering cooler, and that's that. But, you know, since I'm under here, I might as well do it. Um, the power string pump right here has got a wind to it and i filled it full of fluid and the wind didn't go away so i'm thinking by embarking on this whole journey uh the whole power steering system will end up being replaced the pump which is like 40 dollars no big deal uh i can get that and when i get the steering box out um i'm gonna go back and clean it and get all the rust and scale off of it and check the steering shaft which the intermediate shaft i think is pretty rusted um onto that i'm hoping that the steering shaft that comes out of the box is not foobar uh, and if that's the case this box will get replaced as well but these are not cheap one little piece at a time in the power wagon will be peach but it's it's a process, man. I always seem to get into it. But, you know, it is what it is. I, I actually enjoy it after all the cussing and uh, stuff like that. <laughs> so, But it looks like starting maybe tomorrow I picked up a side job redoing a trailer bathroom. So I guess you guys will want to see that considering I haven't been posting any of my own trailer videos. Well, I think I'm going to squirt some juice on here, the PB Blaster. Stuff works pretty good. And let that sit overnight, and uh, in the morning I'll come back out and take that off. Because it's getting kind of late, and I'm kind of wore out. And uh, I've made a big enough mess, as my mom would say. Messing and a goblin. That's all I've been doing, it seems like. So, see you guys later.